Hey everyone, Midjourney 5.2 was released with a new zoom out feature and I have about four or five tips to help you understand it a little better and help you get the most out of it. Let's start with the most important tip. What's the best way to rewrite your prompt? A prototype telephone product photo. It's got a nice black background. So if I wanted to take this photo and put it in outer space, what would I do? You're gonna start by hitting the custom zoom option and you could try adding what you want like in space, but I don't think it does a very good job. I mean, number Number two is kind of okay, but one, three, and four are basically the same as before. And the reason for that, or a better way of understanding what's going on, is that when you zoom out, Midjourney is going to fill that space with whatever you have in your prompt. So we have to note that we still have prototype telephone and product photo in our prompt, which means that Midjourney is just going to zoom out and show more of what we already have. So what I recommend you do is erase your prompt completely and include just what you want to see when you zoom out. Boom. Pretty good, right? We have our original picture picture in the middle surrounded by what's in our prompt. That's the first big tip number one. And just to showcase it a little farther, you could try something like billboard advertisement. And I'd love to show it to you here, but Discord has given me this poop emoji. And I don't quite know why it does that. It's happened to me once before. But in any case, we can go to the Mid Journey website and find all of our images there. And look how cool these are. I like number two a lot, how the lighting from the billboard shines at the bottom and then slowly fades into the shadows. That's really cool. This next tip I've talked about in a previous video but I think it's good just to clarify here. If you have an image and want to change the aspect ratio, we're going to go back into custom zoom. We can change the aspect ratio right there in the prompt, but we have to make sure we change the zoom from two to one. And it will come up with these, a perfect transfer of ratios. One, two, and three are amazing. Number four, add these little guys on either side. And again, I think that's a really good example of just how the zoom out feature works. It's going to want to fill that new space with whatever you have written in your prompt. In this case, it's character design so it added a character on either side but I think that's a little less common when you're just changing the ratio which is why one two and three work so well the next big tip I have for you is how to zoom out while applying a style transfer in this case we have a cartoon television but maybe we want to zoom out and see more of a photorealistic reality so we're gonna go into custom zoom you might try something like busy New York Street and then what I tried was negative prompting the cartoon and illustration out of the prompt and you can do this by using dash dash no and then whatever words you don't want to appear in the generation but as you can see from these pictures it didn't really work out everything is still quite cartoonish around the original picture so what can we do we can negative prompt in a different way by using two colons and then a negative value when you use dash dash no I think that equals a value of negative one but this way using two colons or multi prompting we're able to up the negative value, in this case, turning it into minus two, saying we really don't want anything cartoony in the picture. But be careful, you have to understand this. The total value of your weights needs to be positive or at least zero. Do you know what I mean? So if we have negative two here, we need to have a positive two for the other part of our prompt. In this case, photo real New York street. And what do you think? I'd say these are already a lot better. You can tell just by the lighting around the original image, it's starting to be more realistic. But the real tip is to just go one step farther. We have our upscale and all we're gonna do is zoom out again. You can choose the two or the 1.5. I don't think it really matters. And then you get something like these where we have our cartoon original image in the center surrounded by a pretty realistic looking city and oh I just love the effect that this has on the pictures like look at that that's unreal really stunning stuff same with this one feel free to try it again but now it's a little harder to see our original cartoon illustration in the center but it wouldn't be fair unless I showed you all the ways that this doesn't exactly work like take this stylized illustration of an alien jungle I thought it would be really cool to zoom out into a photo realistic jungle but as you'll see I couldn't quite figure it out so we upscale one, go into custom zoom and change the prompt. I changed it to just photorealistic jungle and look at these. It didn't work at all. Honestly, I tried just the word photorealistic and again, nothing except for this woman that appeared on the left here, <laughs> whatever. And that's where you're going to want to try something like the negative prompting. And again, here, it didn't really work that well. So maybe adding the negative weights would have really put it over the edge. But I like the idea of number three. You're starting to see a little photo realism come through, especially outside of this little bubble that it put the original illustration inside of. I think that's really cool. And then we're going to do the same thing as before. We're just going to go one step farther, another zoom out. And you're starting to get something like these pretty powerful stuff here. But look, the hands aren't quite right. Another big 
tip is that if you're kind of happy with what you're getting, hit the variation button under one of these pictures. The way Mid Journey works now is that a variation will give you something quite different Although along the same lines, you'll see what I mean. So we have a handout reaching for the bubble, we hit variation, and we get these, which still includes a bubble, still includes a hand, but it comes at it from a couple different angles. And to be honest, I like number one a lot, I like number three, and number four is not that bad either. Before we move on, I wanted to point out that there are some free PDFs available in the description of this video. There's a cheat sheet, a page with camera angles and lenses for you, a visual dictionary with 200 styles to using your prompt, and if you want even more ideas, Ideas, you can check out my variety prompt pack available on my website. Back to the tips and I really want to thank Ancient Chaos for this suggestion. It's really cool. It has to do with style transfer but we're going to do it in a bit of a different way. First we're going to separately generate the new style we're looking for. In this case I went with Renaissance oil painting. And I don't think the subject really matters too much. It's much more about the style. I thought number three was a good start so we upscale it. We're going to click on it so it expands. We're going to right click and then we're going to hit copy image address. Now we're going to go back to whatever picture you're looking for. In this case, I'm starting with the stylized illustration again, custom zoom, and we're going to paste the link to that image into the prompt. Make sure you hit space so there's a space between the link and the rest of your prompt. And this is going to image prompt that new style into the zoom. Pretty powerful stuff. Look what it comes up with. This is crazy. <laughs> Just for the record, I also erased the stylized illustration from the prompt and included Renaissance painting along with the image link. And this is another really good example of how the zoom out feature works. It's going to keep your original picture in the middle while filling out the rest of the frame with what you currently have in your prompt. And you get these, that is so cool. So powerful to have two different styles in the same image. Like that's, that's crazy. But there is one more thing you can do if you're not satisfied. You're gonna do the same process, copying the image link. But this time near the end, I want you to hit dash dash IW and then a number between 0.5 and two. 0.5 would tell Midjourney that the reference image is less important while adding a two will bump up the importance of the reference. It's not that big of a difference, but it's something you could try. These are pretty crazy. Ah, like look how cool that is. I don't really know if this this next one will be considered a tip, but I really wanted to show it to you because I think it's hilarious. We're going to take this portrait of a warrior, old Hollywood style, unsplash. We got this nice dramatic lighting. We're going to edit the prompt in the custom zoom and I put Bugs Bunny cartoon dash dash no photorealism. And I got to say, it didn't really work out how I was thinking, but it worked out even better. <laughs> look how... Look how funny these are. But look how well it added these crazy bunny ears that are like photorealistic matching his hair is absolutely hilarious. I know I said no photorealism, but I can't believe how well it worked. But like, look, it's even got the light shining through the skin in the ear. It's so funny and so powerful. Okay, this next tip is a little confusing, but it has to do with zooming out on some of your older pictures. Obviously, you can scroll down on the Mid Journey website, but it doesn't always work that great. And I'm not sure how many people know this, but you can hit this archive button at the top here, and it will let you search through your images by the date they were created created. This is amazing. I mean, sometimes it doesn't always work. You might need to hit reload here. But there you go. Now it's fixed. So you can scroll down the right side and look for a date that you're interested in. Let's go to February 7th. And then let's take this picture here. The Mechanical Warlock Whimsical Bold. Now if you hit the ellipses button right here, I think most people know that you can open it straight in Discord, but that is not what we want to do. We want to go up here to copy and then copy the job ID. Now back in Discord, we can hit forward slash show, hit enter, and we're going to paste the job ID. And Discord is going to bring up that picture fresh as if it was just created. But you'll see there's none of the new features here, no way to zoom out. So what we need to do is hit make variations. Now, unfortunately, that does mean we won't be able to zoom out on that exact picture, but I think this is the next best thing, you know what I mean? Like it gives us these, and I think these are pretty amazing, even though they're not the original, which kind of sucks. I mean, again, this is the next closest thing you can do. We choose one, I think number three looks pretty cool. He's using one hand to cast a fireball into the other. That's sick. You hit upscale, and then boom, you have all the new options available to you. But this doesn't always work, and let me show you. If you're going through your old pictures, like here on December 9th, I love this picture so much and I'd love to zoom out on it, right? So we're gonna do the same process. We're going to copy the job ID. In Discord, we're gonna do the same thing. Paste the job ID, hit enter, and it's going to bring it up. 
we hit make variations we get the new ones okay number three looks pretty cool i'd like to see that zoomed out but look there are no zoom out buttons where are all the new features what happened i think it all has to do with the prompt look it says here v4 i think that's the big issue if you have an old picture that includes a version in your prompt this process is not going to work like back up to this example even though this was made in february it didn't include a version in the prompt it didn't specify anything so when we hit variations i think that turned it into a version 5.2 I think that's what happened. But when we hit variations on this one, it maintains the version 4 because it's in the prompt. And therefore, when we upscale it, we don't have access to the new features. I don't know if that's a bug, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. So you have to be careful. If you have an old picture that includes the version in the prompt, I'm sorry, I don't think you'll be able to zoom out on it. However, if you have old pictures that don't include the version, these new features should be available to you. One last thing I wanted to show you involves Niji Journey. And this is actually another way to get your job ID. You don't need to go to the website. If you have a picture you like, like this one here, you can right click on it and just hit the envelope emoji. And if you don't see that, you can hover your cursor up here to add a reaction and then search for the envelope emoji up here. Most people know that this will send you the seed number, but it also sends you the job ID. So if we go over to our private message with the Niji Journey bot, hit show ID and bring it up here, and then hit zoom out, it's not going to all of a sudden add some anime style to the zoomed out generation. It works basically the same. I know that's a lot to take in and please let me know if I've missed any tips or tricks that you know about. This was all about zooming out, but if you want to know how to create a consistent style across all of your images, you can check out this video here. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.